So the first thing that we're going to do is prime our eyelids with MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I'm using a Sigma P88 brush to blend that out. And then to set the lids, I'm going in with my Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette and I'm taking the matte cream shade on this brush from Sonia Kashuk that I use all the time and I'm setting that base. Next, I'm going in with this cool tone gray shade in a brand new Sigma F80 brush so it is less fluffy than my older one so it's going to put the product more precisely in the crease area and I'm going back and forth from the inner corner of the eye to the outer corner of the eye and I'm winging it out a little bit. So you guys can see I'm placing the product very precisely in that inner corner because I want to make sure that this cut crease is going to have color from the inner corner flicking out to the outer corner. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to be slightly building up the darkness of this color. So I'm going in with the second darkest gray shade in the palette and I'm placing it right over top where I was doing my previous blending work. Just slightly lower. I'm not blending the color as high up as the other one was and then I'm going in with this darker shade and I'm placing it directly into the crease and a little bit on the lid space area you don't have to be neat with this because we are going to be cleaning up the lid and cutting the crease with some concealer but I do want to make sure that I'm adding some depth and it's not just one color so you want to have some dimension in the crease area with these three shades and I use the same brush for all three colors next to clean up the lid I'm taking my Urban Decay concealer but you guys can use any one that works for you and a flat concealer brush from this Sonia Kashuk holiday palette that I got a couple years ago but I'm sure that they sell this brush on its own and I am cleaning up and I'm kind of creating a little bit of a flick and a wing with the concealer to make sure that I'm cutting the crease and what I did was I figured out where my crease started in that area and I just cleaned up the shadow now I'm going in and I'm blending the shadow into the concealer ever so slightly. You're not going to see this later because we are going to be covering it up with glitter, but I wanted to make sure that it wasn't too harsh. And then I'm going in with this light baby pink from the palette and I'm placing this all over the lid area all the way out to the outer corner where the flick has been created. And then again, going in and just blending those colors ever so slightly together. Now for the fun part, I'm adding the glitter. This is the Urban Decay one in the shade Glam Rock. And I am just going to be following along very slowly where I put my crease. And you guys can see right there, I blinked before letting the glitter dry and then it transferred onto my lid space. And then I didn't learn my lesson and then I do it again. So I got glitter all over my lid and I'm gonna show you guys how I fixed that and cleaned it up because it did take a second. I tried to just kind of flick it off it wasn't working I tried to cover it up with concealer and that wasn't working you can see here that it just was not making any difference I was just making a mess so I wet a cotton tip and I kind of just started to rub the glitter away and kind of get it off the lid area and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over the space again with soft ochre paint pot which is my eyeshadow base set that again with the cream shadow from the palette and then I'm gonna go in over it again with that pink shade that I wanted on the lid to begin with but you guys can see here I'm just kind of cleaning it up and getting the edge nice and sharp again with the soft ochre paint pot um, so yeah so now I'm just setting it again and then we are going to move on to liquid liner so this one is the Kat Von D trooper liner and I am working very very slowly here obviously I've sped this up but you want to kind of connect the line up to where that point is coming in the crease in the same angle but you don't want it to kind of touch at the same point if you were to extend the eyeliner further back you want to leave some space so that there is a gap hopefully you guys can see what I mean and I wanted to keep the wing pretty thin but I did want it to be pretty dramatic as well with the sharpness of it but next what I'm doing is I'm going to be tight lining my upper waterline. This is a black pencil from Ofra. I find that it transfers the least to my lower lash line. And then I'm curling my lashes and applying a couple coats of mascara. These two are the two that I love to pair together all the time. I've been using them for years now and I swear by them. Moving on to face primer, I'm using this one by Marc Jacobs. This is the coconut primer and I'm just placing this all over my skin. And then I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation and this is in the shade Golden Beige. And I'm blending that out with a Morphe G8 brush. I absolutely love this brush for foundation, but basically 
I'm just using swiping motions and pushing motions to put this on the skin. No buffing motions. I don't like how that looks on my skin. I find that it almost exfoliates my skin while I'm blending out the foundation. But next, I'm trying out this new Lancome concealer and the shade was a little bit more salmon in undertone. So I placed this down first to color correct and I blended that out with this Eco Tools sponge. And then I'm gonna go over it with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Medium to highlight and brighten the face because again this shade was more pink and salmon in tone so that's going to color correct any darkness under the eyes but then I want to go in with something that is going to brighten the area which is why I layered the concealers <laughs> Once the concealer is blended out, I'm going to set that with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and this Sigma brush, I always get questions about it. This is the Sigma F35 Tapered Highlighting Brush and I absolutely love it for setting underneath my eyes and around my smile lines. To bronze today, I'm using my NARS Laguna Bronzer and this is a Real Techniques blush brush, but I use it for bronzer and I'm just bronzing up the perimeter of my face and neck. To contour today, I'm taking this Tarte palette. This is the Don't Be Afraid to Dazzle palette, and I'm just contouring my cheekbones and my nose. And you guys, I don't know if you can notice, but I'm only contouring the bottom half of my nose up until I have a slight bump in the center, because I don't like to add too much shadow there, because then I find that it makes the bump look bigger. And then I kind of like drag the product up into my brows as well. But then I'm also going to be highlighting with the highlighting shade in the palette using the F03 brush by Sigma, and I'm also taking this small. Luxie tapered blending brush and I'm putting it in the inner corner of my eyes as well and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start taking the shadows that I put in the crease and buffing them along my lower lash line. The brush that I'm using for this is the Sigma Pencil E30 brush and I actually really 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 like this brush for under eye blending and then I'm going to go ahead and put some nude liner in my lower waterline, add some mascara to my lower lashes and then I'm going to move on to blush and lips. For blush today, I wanted to do something slightly more in the pink purple family, so I'm taking this Clinique Cheek Pop in the shade Pansy Pop, and I'm placing that on my cheeks. For lips today, I'm going to be lining them with this MAC Lip Pencil in the shade Boldly Bare, and I'm just following the natural shape of my lip line, and I kind of even them out a little bit because my top lip and my bottom lip are slightly uneven, and then I'm going to fill them in very slightly in the outer corners, and then I'm going to go in with a Revlon lip item. This is the Ultra HD Matte Lip Color in the shade Seduction. I actually really, really love the formula. I didn't like it as much when I did my first impression but now I actually love it. And then just in the center, I'm taking this YSL lipstick in the shade one, and I'm just placing that right in the center of my lips to create a slight ombre effect. And then this look is complete. So that is it for today's makeup tutorial. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. And I hope to see you in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.